iPhone system to configurations and today we have this TC Desire 516 and uh, we're going to take a review of this device so uh, this is the latest device from STC and you could see this device is priced at about 13,900 and uh, first of all I'd like to thank uh, Mobilis to providing this device for review so now let's take a look at the device as you can see this device has a 5 inch display and uh, uh, it looks very premium uh, and uh, it, it looks very nice for this price and uh, you could see the bottom uh, three capacity buttons on the bottom side and uh, 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 it's on the top side with the 2 megapixel front facing camera and on the side right hand side they have provided the lock and lock key and on the top side uh, the USB slot and the 3.5mm audio jack on the left hand side you could see the volume rockers and the bottom they have not provided nothing uh, it's all except the microphone slot here and on the back panel uh, they have provided a very glow finish to the back panel and you could see the camera 5 megapixel camera and the LED flash here 5 megapixel camera is capable of recording at 720p uh, with the resolutions uh, while the front facing camera is only capable of recording 480p so now let's, let's take out this uh, let me show you uh, the the internal things uh, the memory card slot and all that things so I'm gonna take take off this back panel and you can see this is how the back panel looks like you could see the the battery that is 1950 milliampere battery is placed here and you can see the 32 uh, the micro sd slot which is uh, expandable to 32 gb and you can see the sim 1 here and sim 2 uh, so these are the things uh, which comes with the device uh, the sim 1 is only capable is the only uh, port which is capable of uh, the cdme connection that is 3g connection so these are the things uh, that i would like to take about the appearance of this device so now let's turn on the device and see uh, what are the internal things so I must say this device has a pretty nice build quality and uh, the device runs on a Android a Jelly Bean OS, uh, it's not KitKat. Uh, the device actually sports a Qualcomm Snapdragon 200 processor so that will give a pretty nice performance for this device. Uh, so now let's, uh, as you can see the device has turned down. Now let's uh, see the features of the device as you can see I'm going to unlock the device. So uh, the, the first impression is that the device is very smooth, there is no not much problem in, in in navigation the device is very smooth no problem in there now let's uh, just take a look at the display quality of the device so you could see the device has a pretty nice display quality here the device actually sports a display resolution of 540 960 and it looks very great there is no pixelizations in the display and it looks very nice now let's take a look at the android in the user interface android uh, version of the device you can see the android version is 4.3 uh, which is the last uh, final version of uh, the Android Jelly Bean. So now let's uh, take a look at the basic features like call, uh, calling and you can see this uh, calling is cust not much customized. This is the basic calling option and let's take a look at the messaging of the device. You can see the messaging is also uh, the usual uh, Jelly Bean uh, interface, uh, keypad and all the things are very similar to the older version. So there's nothing uh, customized in there also and now let's uh, Go back and check out the drop down menu of the device now let's check out the drop down menu and you could see the drop down menu uh, the notifications are only shown by default and you can just get in the detail the shortcuts by clicking on the shortcut button and you could get all the features like brightness data usage wi-fi auto, auto rotation battery level all these things are available just like uh, you get in normal devices let's go to the settings and see the memory uh, memory usage and memory how much memory is available how much ram and how much uh, how much uh, ram is available so now let's take the storage option and you could see up out of uh, 4 gb of internal memory uh, 1.69 gb is available that's pretty nice uh, so you get you will get about 1.69 gb free now let's take apps and see how much uh, ram is uh, left uh, the device actually supports a 1 gb of ram so you could see that it has about uh, 548 mp of ram free so that's also a pretty nice uh, uh, thing to see so there is enough ram uh, for apps so that's pretty nice now let's take a look at the touch input of the device let's see how much uh, fingers it can support so i have already run this uh, benchmark and you could see it can actually support up to five fingers nothing more so uh, the device can support up to five fingers so that's a standard uh, touch and the the STZ had not uh, sacrificed anything in the touch response. So now let's go into the gallery and see what are the uh, how much how the device performs in the video playback and the picture viewing aspect. So as you can see, uh, uh, I'm taking a picture here, and uh, the display seems very vibrant. And uh, let me zoom in out. The, the 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 response of the input, the touch input, is very nice. There is not much problem. Very instantaneous. Not much delay. Uh, very very smooth so 
uh, the, the processor of the device is actually 1.2 gigahertz uh, quad core Snapdragon 200 processor but it looks pretty nice and uh, I must say that uh, the device has a very nice processing power there is no problem in, there is no issues in that usually Arduino 200 processors are not so great but this, this device has a pretty nice processor and uh, I must say this is very nice now let's take a look at the viewing angles so you can see the viewing angles of the device is very excellent there is no no degradation in the video quality or, or the picture quality of the device very nicely done by STC there is no issues uh, with the with the viewing angles uh, they have always provided display quality is very nice so uh, there is no issues with that now let's take a look at the video playback of this device so now let's take a display a video here which is a I think it's a 180p video so it's not it's not, it's 720p video and you could see the device has playing it uh, pretty nicely there is no problem there is no buffering very smooth so uh, uh, that's pretty nice so there is no issues uh, with the video playback as you can see the, the quality of the display is very nice uh, there is not much problems in here so uh, I must say that the, the device can play 720p video very smoothly so there is no issues with 720p video playback and let's go into 180p video playback and see how the device performs to that and you can see uh, there is no issues with that the device is capable of playing 180p videos also so uh, overall this device uh, looks pretty nice uh, and uh, there is no uh, problem as far as now because the device can play 180p and 720p video very smoothly without any buffering so the device is very nice so now let's go back into the other things like uh, camera option of this device now let's check out the camera so as you can see I'm gonna take camera this is actually the camera interface and uh, it is uh, they have not provided any other shortcuts here you can't really drag down or take options you have to just click this button and you have to see they have uh, separated each uh, each menus into three uh, that is the settings into three different menus you have to take individually and adjust settings so you can see the picture size is adjustable focus mode uh, picture quality super fine all these things are adjustable and now you have to just click on that and just yeah, again you have to again tap on the menu and you have to take other other options here that will affect face detection saturation all these things are available so uh, these are the basic uh, uh, settings uh, nothing special about it now let's take a picture of this thing here and let's take a uh, snaps quick snaps and see how fast the device capture it you can see its touch focus is also enabled so I'm gonna take a snap of this uh, cube here okay now they have it has taken the picture now let's see the how the device has captured it actually it doesn't have any options to take a, a picture uh, it's, it's it is something usually they have a uh, the options to take directly from here but I think uh, in this device they have not provided that option here I would go into gallery and take the picture manually so that's been bad thing and you could see uh, the the pictures were very focused I must say that this is the best quality picture that I have seen in this range uh, it's very very focused very sharp uh, very true colors there is not much distortion a little bit of distortion is there but but it may be due to the lighting condition here but uh, overall the, the the camera performance with it is very nice I must say now let's uh, take uh, some pictures and see the, what is the camera response uh, delay of the of this device. So I'm going to take uh, 10 snaps uh, camera response test. That's what we call. So now I'm going to take 10 snaps as fast as possible within 10 seconds, and uh, let's see how much uh, the device can capture. So uh, I'm going to start with uh, okay. Now the device is focused. So now uh, one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it actually takes about uh, 2 seconds uh, for focusing. So uh, the, 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 the capturing of the device is not as fast uh, as we expect. So as you can see, the device has almost captured 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, about 6 images, uh, 6 or 5 images uh, maybe uh, for, uh, within 10 seconds. So the response time is not so great but the quality of the focus of the each image is very nice we have seen the focusing of the device is very nice so in that aspect this device is very very good and now let's uh, as, you, as i already told you that the device actually supports a, a 5 megapixel of back camera and it can record up to a 720p video so let's take a look at the video recording so 
so the device can record up to 720p uh, videos that's pretty nice and now the options has came out you can see that I think it's a bug uh, in the in this device because uh, sometimes you can see uh, the, the picture is in there but when the picture actually saves to the file you can actually see that it actually saving but when you after that you can't really take that picture so that's I think it's a bug and it will be fixed uh, soon so uh, I won't uh, expect uh, I, I expect uh, CC to fix it soon so there's no issues with that so uh, now uh, now let's go into the uh, benchmarking of the device which is another important uh, review uh, important thing in this review so let's take a benchmarking let's start with Nina Mark 2 as you can see the Nina Mark 2 actually I have already run this benchmark and it has actually scored 55.55 now let's run it again and see uh, let's confirm it and you could see uh, the, I, I can see it's uh, almost getting 59 56 uh, 50 uh, 56 52 it's varying uh, very much so at, uh, when, when a high fps uh, videos it will actually uh, take a little bit effort so now you can see that uh, the device actually scores about uh, 56.2 uh, the device actually scores at 302 gpu so uh, it, we can't, we can't expect a very high benchmark scores so uh, it's pretty decent for this uh, this this device now let's go into the uh, anti 2 benchmark and see how the device uh, actually scores in the anti 2 benchmark now let's uh, i already run the anti 2 benchmark and I'm, I'm, i will show you the uh, result here so you can see the detailed scores actually so you can see that this is actually the detailed score here you can actually see that uh, the the store the total score is fourteen thousand eight seventy two and the RAM is two five zero eight uh, CPU integer is three three five one CPU float is three three five five two D graphics is nine one one three D graphics is three nine five eight database database I O is five 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 so uh, pretty nice configuration pretty nice uh, score here there's no problem with that the device is scored pretty nicely in Android two benchmark so uh, now we have almost covered all the aspect of this device we have seen the the, the display quality we have seen the the video video playback we have seen the camera interface we have seen the camera performance and uh, overall this device uh, scores pretty nice the, the device is very nice build quality and touch 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 input of the device is five point touch the ram is one gb uh, all these things we have seen so overall this device is a pretty nice choice for this price uh, especially from stc you are getting such a good interface uh, uh, but we have seen some bugs in this device, but uh, we hope uh, it will be fixed soon. Uh, this device also equipped with the blink feed feature, which is another attracting point uh, of this device. We can actually add uh, any uh, feeds to the blink feed and you can actually uh, get the updates of uh, channels that you want. So uh, this is a pretty nice device for this price, a very good display. So uh, I must say this device is very nice for this price. So that's all about the STZ Desire. 516 so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit like and stay subscribed thank you